So you're dealing with a very, very emotionally charged situation. You must try not to lose your temper. So just calm down. And the next card is be positive. So be positive, calm down, relax, count to 10, um, because uh, you don't want to be saying things that will later come back and bite you. So um, also you've taken some sort of calculated risk recently. So something that you've done that you would never have done before, but you've taken a calculated risk after considering all the facts. So in the past you might have been in you might be in a management position and uh, you've been receiving a lot of important information and messages as well. So you may have gotten promoted to a management position and you're now you know dealing with a lot of important information and messages. So you're planning maybe on starting your own business that's been working on your mind. Um, it says also don't panic, be calm, uh, stay calm. So maybe there's something that has uh, caused you to be a bit upset and now you want to leave everything and start your own business. But the final card is saying, just don't panic, just stay calm. Things should work themselves out and try and be positive. So you've got the union, you might be um, getting into some kind of business partnership or you might have entered into a business partnership with somebody recently. Uh, this could also be that you're working pretty well with somebody in your business and you know you are um, almost soulmate kind of uh, connection. So you'll understand each other perfectly. You'll have a lot of bright ideas, good ideas, and you're all working pretty well with each other. There's a lot of freedom of thought going on over here, exchanging ideas. Um, and you know, you're almost feeding off each other and it's all positive. So that's that seems to be the energies that are going on around you. So what's happening with you? You've got learning and uh, dissatisfaction. So um, there seems to have been, uh, you seem to be involved in some kind of assessment that is going on and you're a bit upset about what the outcome of that assessment has been because it seems like you want to take your things and move on. Maybe things are not working out the way you wanted it to go and you want to just leave everything be behind and walk away. Uh, because maybe you feel that people's assessment of you has not been uh, what it should have been. Maybe they didn't give you a good uh, report and you were not really happy with it. You're, you're really not happy with whatever the situation is. You may be feeling that you've been juggling and doing a lot of things and working really hard trying to impress them and they haven't been. And so you, it has made you very, very dissatisfied and you want to walk away from that situation. So in the past, you've been doing a lot of work trying to uh, get people to uh, understand your goals and understand the way you're thinking. And, uh, you know, you've been giving them a vision for the future. You can see this woman's got the binoculars looking to uh, forward. And people have been very impressed with your ideas because they've been, um, you know, uh, they think that it's really, really good. You've got these people on their knees offering, um, you know, some sort of uh, gift to this woman. So maybe you did get some rewards uh, from all your good ideas that you've had because you've been able to see, um, you know, further down the path than they were. So you've got a really open mind and you've been bringing in some really good ideas and people have been impressed. In the last three months, there has been a sense of satisfaction with the work that you're doing. Uh, you feel, um, you know, you've been achieving your goals that you have been um, setting for yourself and, uh, you know, you've been uh, pretty happy. This could also mean that you've taken a, a holiday or a break recently. But when it comes to work, there is a sense of satisfaction with work that you're doing. You're pretty happy with what you've been doing. And you've been working pretty hard within a team as well. This has been on your mind, building something that is much better, much brighter. Um, you know, and it's uh, you, the team and you have been working pretty well. It's starting to generate some money over here. And you have been very focused on this particular project. But there's some sort of assessment that seems to have happened. And that's left you feeling very, very unhappy. So you, you've got the Ace of Cups over here, a, a new emotional situation coming in. You're very, very motivated to do it. You've got the mo motivation card over here. In fact, you're pushing yourself. Maybe you're, you are, you know, expecting too much of yourself. And maybe when you don't achieve what you expect, that's when you start feeling very depressed and dissatisfied with things. But you're definitely uh, going for the gold. So you're going for, you're, you're pulling out all the stops and you're going for it. And with the whip in hand, it seems like, you know, you are pushing yourself, driving yourself to achieve everything. So what's happening with you? You are feeling that sense of restlessness over here. You may want to do something else, but it seems like people are holding you back because they feel that you are not... Um, trained up enough to actually do this particular job that you're rushing into things and you really shouldn't be so they are putting some stoppers on you and this is making you a bit unhappy with this four um four of cups and you can see this woman's you know showing that if you have to jump into the water you might drown yourself so you know people feel that if you uh, start doing something you might be overwhelmed and this is the next card that follows this is the learning preparation so you do need some extra uh 
training or extra um, uh, information to come to you, um, you know, uh, in order for you to get out of this, you know, uh, position of standing on the beach and and wanting to dive in. It seems like you do need to uh, be trained. You need to actually have um, an increased skill set. So it looks like you might need to go and do that in order for you to uh, proceed. So this might be the thing that is holding things up. And you have a goal in mind. You've got this um, ace of rods over here. You have an idea about what you want to do and you are going for it. So you're trying to go for it. You might be jumping in a bit too quickly here with this card, um, this restlessness card. So, you know, you need to take your time, relax. You've got some studying to do. You have got some, some more further training to do in order for you to go for this goal that you want to. So um, you've got nurturing... Um, obsession and you've got control and restraint so nurturing is having worked really really hard on a particular project and now you're waiting for the fruits of your labor so you're waiting for some results to come in and you're waiting for extra money or extra abundance to come in and you're waiting for doors to open so maybe what the whole situation here is that you know you were going for a promotion and you didn't get it and now you're feeling pretty depressed about the whole thing and you were, are waiting for you know some good results to come in with this empress card eventually it will come in but it might actually mean that you need to do some extra training or extra study in order for you to achieve that particular goal. If anybody's putting pressure on you, you need to actually tell them you need to take control of the situation and you need to tell them where to get off. So you need to not bow down to any kind of external pressure that is coming. Maybe there's a lot of people expecting a lot out of you, but you need to do things in your own time at your own pace. So you need to tell them to just back off as well. And the obsession card is saying that, you know, you need... Um, You've been really obsessed with whatever you've been doing, very focused on it um, and, um, you know, spending a lot of time examining the very, very fine details of that particular uh, work that you're doing, um, you know, maybe not seeing anything else. Um, the cycle is coming to an end. It looks like it was a cycle of hard work. It might have involved something very scientific. You can see there's a lot of uh, mi um, microscopes here and... and um, telescopes as well so you know you need to um maybe you've been just over analyzing things obsessing too much about what the outcome is going to be rather than seeing the bigger picture so instead of focusing on the the tiny maybe you need to see the bigger picture and uh, see that you know there's something better um in the long run rather than just focusing on whatever is going on with you right now so if things are not looking out right now uh you know these situations can change so instead of getting dissatisfied and moving or running off away from it which might not be the best thing for you you need to take the focus on the finer the smaller details and focus on the bigger picture and not get upset by the small little hurdles that you have to cross or overcome but see the bigger picture and see that you know you can achieve a lot more by just um you know going for it and uh, taking all these um obstacles as lessons and taking it in your stride so i'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot so the first card that fell is the Prince of Spring, which says immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. So there is something that is coming in that is going to be pretty challenging for you, but you've got what it takes to actually deal with the situation. And don't let it get to you. Don't let it overwhelm you. And you've got the Six of Autumn, which says... Um, the good that you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So it looks like, you know, you will get your financial abundance. That looks like it is going to be coming to you. So you should be getting some um, extra cash maybe during this period. Um, and uh, it's going to be something unexpected. And the last card is the Four of Spring, which says, be grateful for um, because you have much to celebrate, deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. So with the Four of Spring, and the Four is generally a stability card, and this is generally, uh, you know, the four of, rod, uh, four of Rods, which is a card of stability. So it looks like there's some financial uh, abundance coming to you, and there's a, a, you know, a very stable situation that you're going to be involved in. So, uh, you know, whatever little obstacles or challenges, you can deal with it, and you are going towards the path of stability, uh, and maybe celebration, achieving everything that you have with this four of spring so um i will draw just one more card uh, as an oracle card um, and it says to live in the realm of financial freedom you must learn to speak the language of wealth 
I can, I am, I do. The language of wealth leads to actions of wealth, which in turn always leads to more. So this is just a parting thought that you must be, you must say, I can, I am, and I do. And this is how you bring in, attract in that energy by the law of attraction into your life. So it looks like, you know, whatever little obstacles you have to face, uh, you might need a little extra training in order to overcome them. Don't be despondent about what is going on. Um, this is just a passing energy. You know, you don't throw it all up and walk away from it. If you hang in there, it looks like you will achieve. The Empress is just waiting for things to come, but eventually financial abundance does come to the Empress because it is a card ruled by um, uh, Venus and it does signify that, you know, you will get what you are waiting for.